All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives one of the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, tagged him with the uppercut. He blocks the shot. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you go. Oh, dude's hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. And Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Big shot lands. Ooh, huge body shot. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, last the jab, after jab, after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does. Ferguson's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Able to land with the left hand there. Three minutes remain in the round. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Block the shot. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. Fantastic kick now. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. There you go. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. Line over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground. DC, talk us through the huddle. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Tony Elkakui. 
right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.